good news, news, good news. Good morning, America. Even though we are clearly not in America, and it's clearly not morning. But welcome to HGN. Well, what is HGN? That's a great question, Bonita. Bonita, Bonita. <laughs> well, HGN is a shameless ripoff of SGN, a great news show by our friend John Krasinski. And HGN, well, it stands for Hughes Good News, because in these dire times, we need some good news. And that's what we're here to do for you today. On top of that, it's been almost two months since we left the apartment and we're desperate for any change of pace. So without further ado, whatever time it is where you're at, let's get into the first Hughes good news story of today. And what a month it's been for HGN. Stories of new talents being discovered, or rather created, abound. In fact, self-isolation drove this middle-aged father of six, yep, six, to perpetually cover his face from the shame of self-isolation. However, the self-isolation also drove to the creation of this beautiful loaf, and many others like it, of sourdough bread. Now let's go live to that story in Woodland. Other good news, Abe's bread is added to their product line. Sourdough. Excellent artisanal sourdough. Not shipping to Philippines. <laughs> Sadly. Sad. Oof, that's enough to make anyone jealous. Especially if you happen to be stuck on the same small island or even the same street, but incapable of having even one slice, slice of that foreign bread. Clearly, we need to work on the reporter for this news channel. But let's focus elsewhere, where a young Swiss boy has graduated from watching YouTube videos of other children opening their toys and assembling them, to now assembling his own for millions, or at least the Hughes, to view. Let's take a look at Winston's creation of this robot. We wish we could say that was a time lapse. Best of luck to his parents. And go Astros. We are proud supporters of sports. Now, in other HGN news and inspiring stories, it only took a worldwide global pandemic to take this father of eight to jump into his pool for the first time for two and a half years. We wish we could have caught this on film, but unfortunately, he doesn't like to brag. <laughs> and now we'll check in with the newest member of our Hughes Good News team, reporting to us live from China. Ni hao, wo zhuo Celeste. Wo xian zai shi Beijing. Wo putong hua shuo le bu hao. Mu qin qi kui le. Bye bye. Wow, that is great to hear, Celeste. And the audacity, not even wearing a mask. Things must be getting better there in Shanghai or Beijing or in China. Well, let's check back in with our friends in Switzerland because one of the big challenges in great news or good news, it's flexible from the last month there was that they completed an entire 5K. Check out these images of the members of the family battling through those five kilometers. Take a look at that endurance, that fighting spirit. And while some of us are bringing the huge good news through our persistence to the end, others of us have yet to realize that there is a global pandemic. What it would be like to have a private pool like these kids over in Woodland. Human interaction, 
what a treasure. We don't, we don't value it till it's gone. But in other good news, the self-isolation and social distancing has led to a dramatic and unexpected boost in confidence, which has led individuals such as these to sport these daring hairstyles and facial hairstyles that others would not have ever dreamed of. But back in the heartland of Utah, the social distancing has taken on, on a unique form where they interpreted it loosely to only include people. And this has led to an entire farm that this Merkley subgroup of Hughes family has begun. Our first good news is that Rosie and Nigel are both still alive. Our next good news, we got chicks. There's Snips and Bo and Stormtrooper and Sabine. And then we also got a new kitten. This is Indy. Okay, said. And now for the joke of the day. What's better than gym class? Skipping lessons! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Grandma. We love you. Oh, what a joke. That's Sydney. Well, nobody tell them that animals may have started this whole virus. We wouldn't want to burst their bubble. And then getting on to... Oh, wait, what's that? Well, breaking news. This story, and let's cut to our reporter. Amazing. Uh, a Hughes in Harvard, that's very good news indeed. A Hughes dancing, well, maybe not so much. But in the most special of our news stories and the best of good news, that we have in this Mother's Day is the news of Violet Smart's baptism. This occurred on a lovely morning in Switzerland in a very cold lake. And here is a video really getting the, the feels of that moment. <laughs> well, this brings us to the end of our first and hopefully last Hughes Good News episode. We'd like to give a strong thank you to our producers, editors, and creators, Hannah Hughes, and especially to all those who contributed their Hughes Good News stories. And to echo the sentiments of all of us about how we feel about our dear Bonita Hughes, the, the mother and grandmother, Let's close with this song from Bonita Hughes, the niece and granddaughter and daughter of, well, it's the cousin, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. Um, Happy Mother's Day and it's time to you. You are my sunshine.